Hey everyone, Gary Fong here, and today I want to clear up one of the biggest myths in the Shungite world. It was originally created by vendors selling fake Shungite, and it's still repeated online by people who don't really understand how the test works. And that myth is the flashlight test. In this video, I'm going to debunk it. I'll explain what the flashlight test looks like in videos, and why it fails to really show you if something is Shungite or not. Now, when you watch these flashlight test videos online, here's what you'll usually see. Someone takes a small, cheap flashlight you can find at the dollar store, and they remove the cap, and they take a tiny piece of stone, the bulb glows, and to the untrained eye, it looks like proof that this is Shungite. They're told in this dramatic and convincing way that the stone made this flashlight turn on, so it must be Shungite. It must have that amazing quality to, like, do that. Um, but that's why the myth sped, spread so quickly, because it looks really dramatic. In reality, other conductive materials can do the exact same thing, and that's where this test is misleading. The flashlight test is based on conductivity, and yes, shungite is carbon-rich, which makes it conductive, which makes electrons flow through it easily. But shungite isn't the only stone that can, uh, conducts like this. Graphite, hematite, magnetite, pyrite, even some carbon-rich shales do this. All of these can light a bulb but light it in only a flicker. So the flashlight test produces false positives. It looks impressive, but it doesn't prove authenticity. So let's try it for ourselves. So first, this is a gold watch, and gold conducts perfectly. The flashlight is going to light up. Okay, and let me show you how it works. So what I do is I take the gold, and I place it between the battery contacts and the body of the flashlight. Very, very bright. Uh, but very bright light, okay? So, now, here is a piece of fake Shungite that I bought on Amazon. Most of the uh, Shungite that you can find, most of the vendors are fake, and I've tested all of them. So, we determined this one was fake. Now, watch how it flickers when I try to do the test. It still goes on, right? It still actually, does it go on? Yeah, it goes on. You can kind of finagle it so that so that it goes on. Okay, so that's like, oh wow, this is Shungite. I'll do it again. Okay, so that's like, it's miraculous. It brings light. Let there be light. This is Shungite. Here is a piece of actual Shungite that we have uh, at verifiedshungite.com. Watch the difference. It's just like gold, okay? 100% conductive. Well, not 100%, but it's extremely conductive. So, this is why um, this does not prove authenticity. Just because it turns on, it's like, oh my gosh, this is Shungite. It's not. So this is just a chunk of coal. So that's why this flashlight test is a myth, and it needs to be debunked. If you shop online, you'll see plenty of fakes, large Shungite chunks for under $20, or Colombian Shungite, which is actually jet, a fossilized wood that doesn't conduct at all. Here's the rule. If it's cheap, it's not Shungite. The going rate for real elite Shungite to pull it out on the mine is about $10 per gram. And anything less isn't even enough to cover the mining costs. So, how do you really check? First, we check with a multimeter. What we do is we take the multimeter and through the red and the black leads and we actually test the conductivity. You'll see the numbers go. And this is where it uh, fake Shungite will fall apart. Fake Shungite will not jump to zero, it will not hit zero. Okay, this on top is the fake Shungite. So when I use the meter, you'll see that I cannot get to zero. That means that the electrons that are coming from the red going into the rock and coming back to the black are not flowing freely. Now this on the bottom is real Shungite watch. It goes to zero, and that's the difference. And then the second way we do it is with water testing. Drop Shungite into water and measure it with an ORP meter. Real Shungite delivers oxidation reduction potential that you can see within 15 minutes, and this is why our water tools are so impressive. That shows it's an antioxidant effect, and that's something that a flashlight test will never show you. So at verifiedshungite.com, every single piece that we sell is hand-tested before shipping, and every order comes with a sealed, embossed certificate of authenticity. No other seller does that. So the flashlight test, it's a myth. It's created by vendors selling fakes. 
requested and repeated by people who don't understand conductivity and now it's debunked hopefully. The real test is real conductivity on a meter, antioxidant uh, activity through an ORP water meter and trusted documentation from the source. That's how you know your stone is genuine Kareli Shungite and uh, only available the only, the only people that have certified Shungite like this is at verifiedshungite.com, something that we really, really care about. Thanks for watching. I'm Gary Fong, and please like and subscribe so that we can put out more videos that can be seen by more people. Thanks for watching.